I created 500 new folders in File Explorer in about 10 seconds. If you need to create multiple folders and subfolders quickly, these two methods will save you tons of time. I'll be demonstrating some of Excel's best text manipulation functions and built-in Windows tools to make this process a breeze. Hi, I'm Rebecca and I teach Excel users how to create spreadsheets they can be proud of. If you use Excel in any capacity, you're in the right place. Optimize all of your spreadsheets with my free masterclass, The Spreadsheet Tune-Up. In just five videos, you'll learn how to upgrade any spreadsheet. Start now and you'll have more efficient and user-friendly spreadsheets right away. So let's say this is your data set. We have a list of districts and within those districts, there are schools, and this is monthly data, so that we have one row for each month. So that creates a lot of duplicates, but let's say that your boss wants you to create one folder for every district, and then subfolders within each district for all of the schools. The first step is to prepare the folder, the list of folders that you wanna create, and then the second step is to actually create those folders, and there's two methods for that. So first we will create this list of folder names. So first, we're gonna create the district folder. So I'm gonna copy that whole column onto a new sheet and remove the duplicate. So I'm gonna to go to data, and then press on this remove duplicates button. And my data has headers. All right, click OK. Now we have just the list of districts because we need to create, we need to literally have one line in, e in this whole list for each folder that we want to create. Now there's two sort of data cleaning or text manipulation tasks that we need to do before we can actually create the create these folders. The first is we need to remove special characters. So I'm going to use control F and find what uh, I know that I have a semicolon somewhere in this data and I'm going to replace it with nothing. All done we made vertical placement. Okay. And then I'll pop up on the screen the list of special characters that you need to find and replace. These are just not allowed in folder names in Windows. So make sure that your data doesn't have any of those because if it does, then that command will fail. So you, it won't create that folder for you. The next thing we need to do is enclose these um, enclose these folder names in parentheses and that's because they have spaces in them. If your folder names don't have spaces then um, that's totally fine. You don't need to do this step. <laughs> Another option um, is to just find any space and replace it with an underscore. If that's okay with you, if you want your folder names to have underscores instead of spaces, that's fine. But if you don't, here's what I would do. I use the concat function, which just combines text. The first thing that we're going to use is a quote, but you can't do this. You can't inclu include a quote just like this. You can't use two quotes <laughs> um, surrounding a quote. So to refer to a double parenthesis or a double apostrophe, you know, like a, a quote symbol, you need to use char and then 34. And then the next argument is the actual district name. And then again, char 34. So we're just enclosing the district name in quotes. And then I'll double click this fill handle to fill all the way down. And then now this list is ready. So there are two ways to create a bunch of folders in um, very quickly using this list. The first way is my favorite because it's very, very quick. We're going to go to another cell here and type in another function, text join, and then open parentheses. Delimiter will be a comma, closed in quotes, ignore empty, whoops, true. And then the text is we want to select, whoops, this entire list. So now that will make a list of all of these folder names separated by a comma. Now copy that. Now open the folder where you want all of them to go. Um, 
which is, I'm going to put them all in this districts folder, and go back one level, right click on the folder where you want them all to go, and then go to open in terminal. Okay, so now you should see the file path for that folder, and you're going to type in MD, which stands for make directory, space, and then paste that list. If you have a very long list, it's going to give you a warning, but you can just say paste anyway. And now it's going to put that entire list. I have like 500 and something folders to put here. And now it's done pasting it. And now I will type enter. And now you can see it is creating all of those folders. That folder and see what happened. Here we are, 551 items. And so it created all of those folders for me. Now the second method is not quite as fast, but there are benefits. So we need to go to the Notepad app and we're going to be creating a batch file. So instead of making all of these into one list, we're going to keep them all in their own row, but we're going to add that command MD to the beginning, MD space right before you enclose it in parentheses. And then copy that down, copy all of this whole list, go back to that notepad and paste it. So we're creating a batch file and we're going to save it in the same folder, districts, in that folder where everything is. I'm gonna call it create folders. And then when it says save type as, make it be all files, and then in the file name, add the file extension .bat. That makes it a batch file, a Windows batch file. So now I'll close it, open up that, and you can see it has these little gears, and the type is Windows batch file. So now I'll double click, and it's going to do the same exact command. You can see MD. Um, and it just created all those folders. See, this the benefit of this method is that you can now take this file and you can give it to somebody else. If they need to create those folders, you could do it again if you needed to create those folders somewhere else. So it's more of a repeatable process, but now you don't need this uh, file anymore. But you can see that it did the same exact thing basically. So now that we have all of these district folders, let's get to work on creating the subfolders of school name. So this time we're going to select the school name column and the district name column, copy them to a new sheet, and then we'll have to remove duplicates again. So I'm going to select all, go to data, and remove duplicates. Okay, now we have to do the same text manipulation that we did before. So we will find, find and replace any of those special characters place them all. I know I only have one, um, but you would go through the same process. And now we will prepare the list of folders. Now this time, when we're doing concat, we, um, we need to start with char 34 again. Whoops. <laughs> and then, so that's opening up the parentheses for this file path that we're creating. And now we're going to start with the district name because that will be the first folder um, that we'll, we'll need to access. And then the next argument will be a backslash, enclosed in quotes, comma, then the school name folder, comma, and then char 34. And the effect is we have the district folder with a backslash and then the school folder. So we're, we're we're making a list of all the folders that we want to create. So you can see how we want to make sure we have the district names folder, um, the folders already created before we go ahead and do this, these subfolders. So the way I'm going to show you now is to actually include that MD space at the beginning. And I'm going to open up that batch file that we had. and edit in, note, oh, edit in Notepad. And then I'll put that, those commands all the way at the bottom. 
Okay. So now I will save that and close it. And I have to delete all these folders because I'm going to, because the, the batch folder, the batch file will now create all of these again and I don't want to uh, duplicate. So I deleted all those folders so that we could do it all again. And now I'll double click on this create folders batch file. And now it's creating all of those level one. And then now it's creating the school name folders within that, within all of those district folders. And let's see what happened. So here's the district folders. And when I go in here, you can see I have, these are the list of schools. And it worked perfectly. And that was so fast. Like when I running that file literally took like 10 seconds maybe. Can you believe how fast that was? I truly believe that text manipulation is one of Excel's most underrated benefits. Let me know what you think of these methods in the comments.